to book his place at his second Olympic Games. But here is the tournament number one seed, David Samudju from Uganda, 27 years of age. And he comes to the boxing ring for his first contest of this continental tournament as the All-Africa Games silver medalist from the tournament in Rabat, Morocco last year. He lost to Tariq Ali, Alali of Morocco on a 3-2 split, which gives you an idea as to how competitive that bout was in the other man's home nation. He's ranked number 16 in the world, is Samuju. And we talked about the seeding and how important it is because Rayton Aquiri, the 2016 Olympian representing Kenya has been competing in the professional ranks. He's got no ranking, no seeding, and that is why we have this quality matchup in prospect wow. in the second preliminary round of the men's 75 kilogram middleweight tournament. A very good boxer is going to see the Tokyo Olympic dream come to an end right here at Dakar, Senegal. There is so much riding on this contest, and wow. make both no mistake, both of these men are quality. Oh, you're getting me excited there, Ronald. <laughs> Third guy, Asanao of Belarus. Is the boxer, is the referee, <laughs> a reluctant touch of gloves? I wonder whether he's the father. I think he is the father of Dmitry Asanao, the Belarusian boxer. Round but we'll one. probably see him in action in the European qualification tournament. But here at the African Olympic qualification event, it is a very brisk start indeed by the boxer wearing red. David Samuju, the 27-year-old tournament number one seed, ranked number 16 in the world, opening his account here at Dakar 2020. But he's in against a man who has been to the Olympic Games already, the vastly experienced Rayton Aquiri who was brilliant in his opening. Uh. ...round against the, in his opening bout against... The man from Libya, he's got a contest under his belt already, and these two middleweights wasting no time going in search of one another. Yep, fantastic quick start, isn't it? We see no query look very, very good in his opening bout, Ronald. But he really is up against it here today, isn't he? Both of these men targeting the body to good effect. Samuju on the front foot, backing up a query who is a big middleweight. Yeah, yes, he's huge. 75 kilograms. Oh, lovely one-two there from Aquiri. Beautiful right jab, split straight between the guard of Samuju, but Samuju incessant forward movement, but just being picked off now by that educated southpaw right. Here it is in evidence once again. Beautiful work to the body by Aquiri. And these two men punching at a frenetic output. Well, the physically strong Ugandan is not given any ground, does he? He won't back up at all. That's a lovely bolo shot. Backed up by a brilliant right hook counter by Okwiri. This is real quality stuff. My goodness, both of these men investing in body shots early on. But the aggression, the front foot aggressor is Samuju. And look at his work to both body and head. Yeah, impressive variety, Ronald. Mixing it up very, very well. But Okwiri doing a good job showing that he's not just a back foot boxer. But he's giving the impression that he's being backed up. So at some point, he's going to have to stand his ground and do what he's doing now. Force the Ugandan boxer backwards. No mean feet trying to push this guy back. <laughs> he does not know the meaning of backwards. He's forcing this all the time. Consistent pressure. Less than a minute to go in this opening round. Samuju looking to pin a query to the ropes once again. Oh, Good lovely work to the body shot. by both boxers. Samuju bobbing and weaving, slipping as he makes his way inside. Good work to get out of the corner by a query. But Samuju trying to get inside his vest once again, yep, giving he... the man absolutely no respite as he works away to the body from both flanks. Samuju really can't stop moving because when he stops moving, he becomes a stationary target as he forces forward. Okwiri managing to sneak some decent counter punches in there. But Samuju just won't back up, will he? He's keeping those heavy body shots coming. Non-stop punching oh, for good the right hook. three minutes from both boxers. And now it's a query who landed that cracking right hand, who is just looking to back up Samuju to end the first round. What a contest. 
in the opening round of this 75 kilogram middleweight contest which promised so much and to this point is more than delivering wow brilliant what a fantastic first round there from these 75 kilogram guys there's that forceful pressure there from Samiju just pushing forward really quick start wanted to stamp his authority on this bout send a message across the ring to his South Pokinian opponent and he certainly did do that Ronald as he scores up so Samuju only taking it for judges B and E the other three favoring the back foot boxing of a query it's a close contest no doubt a 3-2 split a fair reflection of that yeah oh certainly yep that was the only way that that first round was ever going to go <laughs> tremendously exciting stuff so into the second round we go and the fans of the Ugandan bomber David Samuju blaring their vuvuzelas as we get this second stanza underway. Samuju wearing red on the front foot, the tournament number one seed, ranked inside the world top 20. But look at the punch picking and then death movement to his right from Rayton Aquiri, who then scores with a good left hand to the body and oh, then a shoe nice. shine flurry to the torso of the man in red from Rayton Aquiri. Brilliant stuff. Aquiri really answering everything back now and getting Samuju onto the back foot which we only saw in the closing 10 seconds of the opening round how significant will that prove to be oh, Samuju looking to low. get onto the front foot but walked onto a southpaw left and again Aquiri bringing his experience to bear and working the man over to both body and head oh, he's settling in really well in the second round now he looks like a different boxer altogether from round one control the matters behind that's all oh, beautiful left uppercut chipped through the middle but Samuju came back with a right hook but his forward movement not as incessant as it was because a query established himself set up camp in the second round and yeah. <laughs> backed up the tournament number one seed fantastic stuff oh good left uppercut counter as well trying to get himself off those ropes and a query fighting effectively off the ropes and again a left cross just causes Samuju to take a backward step punches being muscled in just above the belt line from the boxer in blue he moves smartly to his left but then takes a single shot from Samuju which causes him to back up this just beyond the midpoint of the second round this has been fought at 52 kilogram pace Ronald unbelievable amount of volume and punches from both competitors Oh, oh, nice right nice. uppercut landed from Samuju. Aquiri getting back to the right jab. Good right hand to the body landed by the boxer in red. Nice. And once again. Oh, he's doubling up on the left hook now as well. That's a nice left hook to the body. Aquiri's felt that. Will it slow him down a little bit? What a cracking second round because Aquiri had a brilliant first half. But in this final minute, it is Samuju who appears to be getting the upper hand. But beautiful fusel art of punches of the light variety from Aquiri, who's putting less power on his shots now and yep. looking to employ movement. But once again, Samuju has him pinned yeah. to the ropes. And he's going, he's attacking the body quite heavily. He realizes that it's going to slow Aquiri down. He's been targeting that body for the last 20 seconds. Will we see? A little bit of dip in tempo and less punches coming back from Aquiri. Those were heavy body shots he shipped. Oh, beautiful work. Two shots upstairs and a right hook downstairs from Aquiri. But then Samuju right back into the man's chest once again. All action exchange to conclude the second round. Whoa. Another brilliant round where they Fantastic. continue to punch after the bell. Remember... The first round was a 3-2 split in favour of this man. How will the judges score the second round? Absolutely non-stop action between these two skillful operators. Uh, let's see some of those repeats here. Some of the body punching from Samid Juwali. Harold Query on the ropes was really impressive. But a query in the first half of the round, remember yep. Alex got on the front foot and was backing up Samuju. We didn't see any of that. And this time, Whoa. it's a 4-1 split in favor of a query. So the tournament number one seed finding himself in a perilous position now because this man took it for three judges in the opening round, for four judges in the second round. Expect this third and oh, final frame this is to be, be a barnstormer. Yep, certainly will be, Ronald. 
So the third and final round underway in this 75 kilogram middleweight contest in the second preliminary round here at Dakar 2020. Progression through to the quarterfinal stage of the tournament is what is at stake. Remember, only the top three men will go through to Tokyo 2020. David Samuju opening his tournament here after he receiving a bye in the first preliminary round. Rate Nakwiri Brock's box magnificently in his preliminary round contest and has brought that rhythm and flow into this second preliminary round bout. Samuju really has it all to do, doesn't he? Oh, he's landed some good shots on the inside there, Ronald. Nakwiri looks away. Told to keep the punches up, strain a little bit on the low side. Well, Samuju back onto the front foot, closing the gap. Another low blow went in from the man in red and another one, but a query not complaining. <laughs> but those will certainly drain your tank quickly. He comes back with body shots and a straight left through the guard. Samuju appearing irresistible in oh, this third round. Oh, big right hook from a query. Terrific action from both boxers. A query looking to fight his way off the ropes. All action, back and forth exchanges. Fantastic stuff to watch. What a tempo this fight has been boxed at. Unbelievable stuff. And remember, Rate Nakwiri has been operating in the professional ranks since 2016. We questioned whether he'd be, handle, be able to handle the pace of a three-round Olympic bout. But my goodness, he is showing that he has not, lost none of his zip. There's a nudging left uppercut, which was a good shot from the man in red. But he is proving to have an indomitable spirit is Samuju. He keeps on coming forward and he's scoring with arcing punches at short and mid-range. Oh, but he's, Samuel just keeps pressing. He knows what he has to do. He literally has to run a query out of this ring. He is trailing heavily on points now. Final minute now of the third and final round. And Samuju's output has been unrelenting in this third it and really final has. round, not giving a query any respite whatsoever. A query looking to engage a clinch and waltz his man backwards. But Samuju frees himself from that embrace and is right back onto the front foot and continuing to score to the body. Well, a query is certainly in this contest. Oh, good but left he's been hands. outworked in terms of volume in the third and final round. Yeah, he certainly has. Samuju has never stopped coming. Just letting those hands go continuously underneath, over the top, round the side. A query looking to get onto the front foot, but he's backed up once more. He's increasing the distance so Samuju can't get his hands on him. He has success with a query's back near the ropes. 10 second clapper, barely audible amongst the Oh, Good body shot from a query there, Ronald. And Lovely. the boxers letting their hands go right up until the final bell. This contest has been fought oh. at a searing pace from opening bell to last and Aquiri raises his arms immediately he is warmly embraced by the Kenyan cornermen because they feel that he has done enough to have his hand raised against the tournament number one seed this man was in the contest right from the opening bell but conceded the first round 3-2 conceded the second round 4-1 he needs a big final round to turn it back in his favor what say the judges whoa well, I really do feel that Aquiri has got this, Ronald. I really do. So remember, only three men will progress from the 75 kilo middleweight tournament. The number one seed has opened his account here. Let's get the verdict from the five scoring officials seated ringside. The winner by split decision. Whoa! In the red corner. It's Whoa! Samuju! Samuju has managed to overturn the deficit that he faced after two completed rounds. Wow. He lost the opening round 3-2. He lost the second round 4-1, a 10-9 across the board. And somehow, with that spirited effort in the final round, has overturned the deficit to eliminate the 2016 Olympian Rayton Aquiri. Rayton Aquiri is absolutely distraught.